This is one of my favorite tools to get me out of my thinking mind and more into my body and into my body's natural intelligence and wisdom. And not only that, it helps me to release unnecessary tension, become more grounded and actually more flexible and more strong. Let me know how you feel after the session. Tapping is something that you will see me use a lot in my classes. I learned this technique through the Franklin Method, but it's also used in Qigong. So before we begin tapping, just take a moment to stand and notice how you feel. Notice your posture. Notice the position of your shoulders. Notice perhaps how much tension you're holding or not holding in your body. And then with your eyes open, you can either use hands or if you have Franklin balls, you can use those. We're going to start to tap up and down the left side of our body, starting with our left arm. So tap all the way up and down the top of your left arm. And then the inside. And the underneath. And the outside. And something I like to be aware of as I'm doing this is my mental chatter. So just notice what you're thinking as you do this. Can you stay relatively neutral, present, rather than judging or even having a dialogue of self-criticism? We're going to come and tap our ribs and our chest. And use this as an exercise to really explore your body. As we're doing this, we're building more awareness. You're building a picture of, of what you are, of who you are, of the shape of you, of the sounds of you. Let's come down to pelvis. Tap your bottom, tap your glutes, and celebrate the wobbles. If your leg wobbles, if your glutes wobble, great. They're designed to. And then we'll do the same thing, tapping up and down the leg. Now I'm gonna make my hands into fists as I do this. You could do the same. Let's tap the lower leg. And then the foot. Now come all the way up and tap that side of your neck. And then even very gently, that side of your face and your head. And then to complete this sequence, we're going to brush down over this left arm and then over the left side of the body and the left leg. And you could also imagine that you're brushing away anything that no longer serves you. That could be tension, could be anxiety, could be stress. Could be anything brush it away and then we'll finish off by shaking left arm and shaking left leg wibble wobble and now stand and notice how you feel we'll take a few seconds here notice how you feel on the left side of your body compared to the right side perhaps it feels more alive perhaps it feels more relaxed Perhaps it feels bigger, like you're taking up more space. Perhaps you feel more grounded. Describe to yourself how you feel. And then just have a little bit of a play. You're going to move your arms around in any direction. And notice if there's a difference in your physical expression. How it feels to move your body. Potentially how expressive you are on that side compared to the other. And then we'll balance, left side, notice alignment, sense of balance compared to the right side. Yeah, I feel just not quite so organized on that right side. Finally, if it's appropriate for you, for knees, pelvic floor, etc., you can do a little hop compared to the other side. And I always notice a huge difference with this one. Let's go from side to side. Do you notice how your body is absorbing more force? You've got more of a natural spring on the side that we tapped. How interesting. Let's do the other side. So we're going to tap neck, shoulder, arm. So you know the score. You can do this in your own time. And ponder 
why it is that you perhaps feel more in your body. You're more aware of your body. You're somewhat stronger with maybe better balance and you can absorb force better. We didn't check flexibility, but I bet if we had, you would have felt like there was more ease of movement on the side that you tapped. Why would that be? Let's come down to pelvis. You have receptors, proprioceptors, all over your body that communicate with your brain. And when they communicate quickly, we function better. We have better balance, we have less tension. We're more aware of our posture. Let's brush down on this side. When they don't function so well, that might be due to injury, trauma, stress, tension, not enough movement. The brain can't communicate so well with the body. So I like to think of this as we are opening up the pathway between brain and body. Let's shake the leg. And let's shake both arms and both legs. We didn't tap the head, did we? Let's finish off by tapping left side of face and head and neck. So now your body has this beautiful, efficient communication with your brain. Stand and just observe that. What does that feel like? To be almost electric, alive, aligned in rhythm. Notice what that means for you. Does your posture feel different? I feel like I'm so much more aware of my, my 3D-ness, the front, the back, the sides. So this is a beautiful tool that I use so often. If you've got time, you can do the whole body. It's a great thing to do first thing in the morning. But even if you're experiencing neck and shoulder tension, lower back tension, glute tension, you can just focus on a specific area. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if you want more tips and tools, then make sure you subscribe. See you soon.